Lesson 6.5 is more two-step equations. So remember that um, when we look at our GEMDAS, if we are talking about simplifying a problem, we use order of operation. But if we are trying to solve for a variable, we go backwards up GEMDAS. So our first step is to undo addition or subtraction first to get the term with the variable alone on one side of the equation. And our step two is to undo the multiplication or division so that the variable has a coefficient of one. And what is our golden rule of equations? It is what you do to one side, you must do to the other. 1a, I have three times the quantity of x plus five equals 45. So I'm gonna use distributive property here. And three times x is three x. And then three times five is 15 equals 45. And then I do this just like I learned in 6.4 where I draw the line, circle my variable. The first thing I need to undo is the addition or subtraction. So I add negative 15 to both sides. And that leaves me with 3x equals 30. And then to undo that multiplication that's happening there, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I'm going to get x equals 30 divided by 3 is 10. I circle it, and that's my answer. 1b, I have 3 times the quantity of 5 plus b equals negative 12. Again, I'm going to use distributive property. And I have 15 plus 3b equals negative 12. And I have my two sides of my equation, my variable circled. To move that 15, I'm going to add a negative 15. These cancel out, and I'm left with 3b over here equals negative 12 plus negative 15 is going to be a negative 27. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And b equals negative 27 divided by a positive 3 is going to leave me with a negative 9. I circle it, and that's my answer. 2a, I have 5 times the quantity of n minus 2 equals negative 30. So I'm going to add the opposite so that it's plus negative 2. It's easier to work with. Then I take 5 times n is 5n plus 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 equals negative 30. I'm going to draw my line, circle my variable. To move the negative 10, I'm going to add a positive 10 to cancel it out. So these cancel, and I'm left with 5n equals negative 30 plus 10 is negative 20. I'm going to circle my variable, divide both sides by 5, and n equals negative 4. Circle it, and that's my answer. 2b, I have 4 times the quantity of 5 plus b equals negative 12. So I take 4 times 5 and then take 4 times b. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times b is 4b equals negative 12. And I'm going to add a negative 20 to both sides to cancel it out. Oops, I didn't make my negative sign very clear on the test. I may not have known what that was to be able to grade it. So these cancel out. I'm left with 4b equals negative 12 plus negative 20 is negative 32. And then I'm trying to get the variable by itself, so I divide both sides by 4. And b equals negative 32 divided by 4 is negative 8. I circle it, and that's my answer. 3a, I have 2 thirds times the quantity of n plus 6 equals 10. This is where things are going to get tricky. So 2 thirds times n is 2 thirds n plus 2 thirds times 6. Now, some people might be able to do that in their heads, some might not. This first one, I'm going to write out what I'm doing. After that, I won't. So make sure you're paying attention. Um, this is multiplying fractions, which we should already know. So I'm kind of doing this first before I get to the equation. 6 and 3 can be reduced. 3 goes into 6 two times. So 3 becomes a 1. 
So then it's 2 times 2 is 4 over 1, so it's just 4. So I rewrite this as 2 thirds n plus 4 equals 10. And then to get n by itself, I'm going to add a negative 4. Oh, <laughs> you scared me. I'm going to add a negative 4 to both sides. Okay, sorry about that. So I have 2 thirds n. I'm going to go up here so I have more room. The 4 plus negative 4 cancels out, and 10 plus negative 4 is 6. And then to get n by itself, I'm going to divide by 2 thirds. And n equals 6 times 3 halves, because I keep flip change. Again, 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 becomes a 1. 3 times 3 is 9, so n equals 9, and I circle it, and that's my answer. Now, on a problem with this much work, this is when I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you are checking your work. 3b, we have 1 half times w minus 4 equals 5, so I add the opposite. Then I take 1 half times w plus 1 half times negative 4. 1 half times w is 1 half w. 1 half times negative 4 is negative 2 equals 5. I'm going to have my separate sides of my equation and my variable circled. To undo the addition or subtraction first, I need to undo that negative 2, so I add a positive 2. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So negative 2 and 2 cancel out. And I have 1 half w equals 5 plus 2 is 7. Trying to get the variable w by itself. To undo the multiplication of 1 half times w, I divide by 1 half. What you do to one side, you must do the other. I have w equals 7 divided by 1 half. And a keep, flip, change. 7 times 2 is 14, so w equals 14. Circle it. And that's my answer. Okay, for A, I have 2 tenths times C minus 3 equals negative 10. So I'm going to use distributive property. So 2 tenths times C is 2 tenths C. I'm going to add the opposite. I almost forgot to do that. 2 tenths times negative 3 is going to be negative 6 tenths. And that equals negative 10. And I do my thing to find the variable, get the variable by itself. To undo the negative 6 tenths, I'm going to add a positive 6 tenths. And then I'm left with 2 tenths C equals negative 9 and 4 tenths. And then to get C by itself, I'm going to divide by 2 tenths. Because what I do to one side, I must do to the other. And C equals a negative 47. Circle it. And that's my answer. Okay, I'm going to go through and I'm going to add the opposite. I should have black on. Add the opposite. So I have 4 tenths times W and 4 tenths times negative 7. So 4 tenths times w is 4 tenths w plus 4 tenths times negative 7 is negative 2 and 8 tenths equals 18. Then I have my separate sides of my equation, my variable, and to get the negative 2 and 8 tenths to disappear, I guess, so that the variable is by itself, I'm going to add 2 and 8 tenths to both sides. And that leaves me with 4 tenths w equals 20 and 8 tenths. And then I want w by itself. So I divide both sides by 4 tenths. And w equals 52. I circle it. And that's my answer.
Okay, Jamal and two cousins received the same amount of money to go to a movie. We don't know what amount that is, so we're going to call it X. Each boy spent $15. Spent would be giving away money, so that'd be minus 15. Afterwards, the boys had $30 all together. Write and solve an equation to find the amount of money each boy received. So they all had received X. We're subtracting 15 because that's what they spent, and there were three of them that this happened to. When it was all over, they still had $30. So I'm going to add the opposite. I'm going to use my distributive property. And 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times negative 15 is negative 45 equals 30. Then I add a positive 45 to both sides. And I'm left with 3x equals 30 plus 45 is 75. Divide both sides by 3. So x equals, they each received $25 originally. Circle it, and that's my answer.